what is up y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is alexis and i do all kinds of beauty and fragrance content as well as lifestyle so if that is something that you're interested in definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave today's video and today y'all i have quite a large bath and body works fall haul okay this haul should have honestly been up months ago but well, I won't say months ago, but let's just say if you guys have watched any of my recent content, I just got super backed up on stuff that I wanted to post over the summer. So I've had a lot of these things. And then of course, some newer things from some sales that they just recently had. So I usually do a pretty big Bath & Body Works fall haul every single year. I used to do quite a lot, but I have kind of scaled back from doing so many per season. So this is going to be my one massive Bath & Body Works fall haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm pretty sure there is some kind of sale going on at the time of me filming this. So we're going to smell some of these things for the first time. Some of these are repurchases. And yeah, I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so if you guys could not tell from the large pile of candles next to me um i did get quite a few candles i literally had zero bath and body works candles you guys um from the time that i moved to new york up until up until recently <laughs> so i was overdue to get some fall candles because that is just my favorite time of year when it comes to candles so let's try to speed through these honestly because the body care is going to take quite a while we're going to start with one candle that I've already started burning that I have not had in a while and I forgot how much I loved this candle. So since I'm halfway through it, I can go ahead and tell you guys this one is definitely 100% worth the pickup. This is the Welcome Home. I want to say this one is an online exclusive because I did place um, half of my candle order. I placed an online pickup in store, but I did not want to carry a bunch of candles with me on the subway. So the rest of them I did have shipped to my house. So this one has notes of cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, clove buds, and brown sugar. And girl, this one smells so freaking good. With the name Welcome Home, you would think that this kind of smells like you know, your typical fall pumpkin, like cinnamon, whatever smell. But y'all, this is super, super buttery, rich, like fall dessert. It literally smells like someone's baking some sort of cookies when you come home and it's just cozy and warm and vibey. And I love this one. The performance is pretty good as well, which I'm very surprised about because I stopped buying Bath & Body Works candles for a while because I just felt like every time I bought them, I was disappointed. So very, very happy. This one did not disappoint. And if you guys are a fan of this one or you like your gourmand foodie candle scents, I definitely think this one is worth picking up. Now, since we are on the gourmand train, this is one that I don't think came out this fall. I think this one was like a summer one or something. I I'm not sure, but this was from their bakery collection. So this is the cherry almond shortbread. This one has notes of vanilla shortbread, candy almond, and cherry. Let's see, girl. Oh, that's nice. That smells really good, y'all. And honestly, I realized like with cherry scents, sometimes the cherry overpowers everything else so you can't smell anything else. But I definitely smell the vanilla shortbread in here and the almond, which is really good. So I can't wait to burn this one and see how I like it. But yeah, this smells really, really good. I'm very happy with this one. I'm so happy that I can like smell like y'all have no idea when I had this sinus infection over the summer, I cannot smell when I bought these candles, y'all, I could not even smell any of them. So I'm like super excited right now. This one from that same collection. This is the Main Street Bakery. So this one has notes of fresh banana, vanilla wafers and cinnamon sugar. And honestly, y'all, I know at one point like Bath and Body Works had the um banana nut muffin and i really love that candle but since then i'm not like i'm not like a super banana fan of incense like i don't know i have to be in the mood for it so let's see um this one has notes of fresh banana vanilla wafers and cinnamon sugar hmm okay so just like i said i have to be in the mood for this because this is definitely for the banana girlies like this smells like straight up banana pudding to me it smells nice you just have to like it almost is giving me banana laffy taffy and i don't like banana laffy taffies <laughs> so you know i don't know we may keep this one we may not i can already tell though this one is going to be a strong performer so if you like banana scents and this one is still available because i know this one came out over the summer 
you might want to pick this one up. Next one, I know for sure, even though this has the same packaging as the other ones, this one is a fall returning classic that I absolutely, absolutely love, have not had in a little while, but this is pumpkin pecan waffles. I think I've been forgetting to show you all the packaging, so sorry. But this is pumpkin pecan waffles, a classic, a fave. This one has notes of maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. And I mean, if you are a Bath and Body Works gourmand candle fan, you already know what this smells like. I will say it's a little lighter than it usually is. Like for me, pumpkin pecan waffles is usually like beast mode on cold. But I do sm still smell like that maple syrup waffle with a little bit of the pumpkin spice in there. It does still smell good. It just doesn't smell as strong as, strong as I remember it. So hopefully when I burn it, I get that pumpkin pecan waffles essence because I normally really, really love this candle. And it's usually one I pick up every year. So lastly, from the same collection, with the same packaging, this is the pumpkin cinnamon bun. So really, really cute. Um, I will say I remember having this candle in the past too. And I, even though I always really like the smell, I feel like this was another one that was very hit or miss for me when it came to performance, like certain versions of this were super strong. And then other times I will try it in, in a different packaging and it would just like not be giving anything. So this one has notes of warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. Again, this one is, is definitely a little faint on cold, but I do smell kind of like that cream cheesy, like pumpkin, like icing type of smell. So it does smell good. I'm interested to see how this one does on cold um, because this is one that I usually typically really, really like. So I will report back after I try this one and y'all will probably see it in an empties or something. So next we're gonna get into these two, which I believe these were for sure online exclusives. The first one is the pumpkin donut shop. So super cute little packaging and also the pumpkin nut butter. So let's smell these and let's try them. Pumpkin donut shop has notes of glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices and sprinkled with powdered sugar. Um, pumpkin donut shop is not new, but this is another one that had very lackluster performance for me in the past. So let's see. Okay. Yeah. Again, I'm getting a very sweet, like pumpkin, the, the sugar, like pumpkin spice and sugar. That's kind of what this smells like to me. I'm not really getting the glazed donut, I'm definitely getting the powdered sugar and like the sweet cinnamon type of vibe, but the donut is there. It's just very faintly in the back in the background. So I don't want to tell y'all this is not worth ordering offline if you are like anti online order like I am. Like if I can avoid it, I prefer not to order things online, especially candles. But I personally don't think that this one is like something you need to run to the website and buy right like i think you could honestly get the same effect from something else so y'all already know they're going to try to get you with the limited edition vault whatever but i personally don't feel like this is super strong my thoughts could change if i burn it when i burn it but yeah i don't know it's okay it's nothing to write home about to me now the pumpkin nut butter they say this one is new but i'm kind of wondering if this is similar to the pumpkin peanut brittle that we had a few years ago, which I don't think they have brought back this year, unfortunately. So this one has pumpkin spice, creamy nut butter, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Okay, y'all. So on cold, to me, this literally smells just like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Like I'm just getting a very sugary, sweet cinnamon and like nutmeg type of smell. So yeah, pumpkin spice, sprinkle of cinnamon, yeah. I'm not getting creamy nut butter. Um, that might be one of those things that smell more when I burn it, but as of right now, this is basically smelling like sweet cinnamon pumpkin to me. So hopefully, again, when I burn it, I get something a little bit differently, but I personally, this doesn't smell like a new scent to me. This literally just smells like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So here is one that I already know is going to be a high point. This is one of my absolute favorites every single year. I'm very surprised at myself that I only got one, but I tried not to overdo it on all of the candles, especially like getting backups because I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in another vlog, y'all, but I don't want to have too much of anything because I don't know for sure how long I'm going to stay where I'm currently living. 
and I don't want to have to move with candles. Like moving with candles is literally the worst thing I've ever had to do in my life. And I've done it twice with a huge candle collection. So I just said, I never want to do that again. So I'm trying to just keep things that I know I'm going to burn through over the next few months into the next season. And then y'all know we have candle day in December. So I'll probably get some then. And then I think I'll just be good. So sweet whiskey, one of my faves. I got one because I just love this one so, so much. I may potentially get another one. We'll see. But this one has golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. And this one, y'all, it just... Mm. Another one, again, that used to be beast mode on cold sniff, okay? Um, she's not beast mode, but I do still smell just that... Uh, this just smells so good, y'all. And honestly... Quite recently, I've seen a lot of people comparing the scent of this to commodities milk. And at first, I really did not get that. I was like, how are they getting berries and, and, and sweet whiskey confused with commodities milk? Because commodity milk is a very lactonic scent. But honestly, the expressive version does kind of have this same powderiness, if you will, that's in sweet whiskey. Sweet whiskey is kind of just like if you added a berry notes to commodities milk like that is kind of what this smells like now that i'm you know comparing the two together so if you have never smelled sweet whiskey and you like the scent of commodities milk imagine adding a sweet berry scent to that that is kind of what this smells like and this has always just been a beast performer for me and i just absolutely love this one so i'm very excited to burn one of my faves and see if i potentially need a backup so can we just get into this gold foil packaging like this is beautiful. This is another one that is new to me that is in um, similar packaging, which all of these say luminary on them. So I'm assuming when I burn them, they like light up through the gold. So I'm hoping that's what happens because that's gonna be really cute. But this is pumpkin s'mores. I don't recall ever seeing this. So to me, this is probably new, but this one has notes of roasted marshmallow, melted chocolate, pumpkin graham cracker. Pumpkin graham cracker. Okay, girl, let's see. Okay, I'm smelling marshmallow and chocolate. And I'm not mad at that. Like, I don't know that I want to smell pumpkin in a scent like this, Loki. So this just smells like s'mores to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad at this. It smells really, really cute, really sweet, really gourmand for my sweet girls, of course. So I'm excited to burn this one too. And then last one in this luminary collection. This is another scent that I do remember liking. And I want to say I had this and a wallflower like I got a couple wallflowers like on sale at one point I think they were like clearanced out so this is cuddle weather and this one also has this really pretty luminary packaging so this one has notes of warm gingerbread tea cinnamon shortbread a cozy blanket mmm y'all this smells so good then this is like a perfect fall transition to winter scent because of that gingerbread note but then there's still like that herbal tea type of note that's in there oh this smells so good y'all this is the perfect blend between like a gourmand fresh candle and i do like to have those when i'm like not always in the mood to have my room or my house smell like a bakery so i really really like this one you guys this is one i'm very excited to burn because i already know it's good Oh girl, we down to the last few candles, okay? And then we still gotta do body care. Help me, Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, so next one, another candle that I love that I know is going to be amazing, that is usually always very, very strong. This is Honey Crisp Apple. And the packaging, it's just given fall, girl. It's given fall. So this one has notes of golden honey crisp, apple blossom, and fresh sugar cane. Literally, they could have just put honey crisp apple on this as the notes because let me let me make sure. Yeah. It's still giving like you bit into a fresh, juicy, honey crisp, sweet, sweet, sweet apple. It smells so good. If you love apple scents, you definitely need to pick this one up. Like this is honestly probably my favorite Bath and Body Works apple scented candle. It's so realistic and it just literally smells like a crunch into a juicy red apple. So I love this one and if you are an apple girly you definitely need to check this one out because the performance on this one is usually always amazing. This is the mixed berry crumble and the name alone girl it got me. <laughs> so this one has notes of freshly picked berries, buttery crumble topping, and cinnamon sugar. 
Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this smells so freaking good. This literally smells like this low key reminds me of um, maple blueberry pancakes candle, just without like the maple syrup. Oh, this smells so good, y'all. This literally smells like if you were to take blueberries. I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with like dump cake because it's like a, a southern thing, but sometimes basically what dump cake is is you take a bunch of like butter and a bunch of fruit you put them in a pan and then you put like cake um mix like on top and you just bake it all together and it just like oozes like the fruits just start oozing over the top and bubbling over this basically smells like baked blueberry dump cake like that is what it smells like oh it smells so good i love this i'm very excited to burn this and then also from that same collection we have pumpkin vanilla creme okay so this one right here has notes of creamy pumpkin vanilla creme fresh ground nutmeg and graham cracker crisp and let me just say y'all i personally love the white lids and the black lids like i kind of get annoyed with the silver lids just because they show like fingerprints easier and they get dirtier in my opinion so i don't know i really like the white lids and the black lids but hmm this smells very familiar. Like, I, I feel like maybe I've had this before. I thought this was new, but I feel like I've had this before. I do like it. It just literally smells like pumpkin spiced milk or something. But yeah, it smells good. Like a pumpkin creamer. Like literally the pumpkin spice Starbucks creamer. That's kind of what this smells like to me. I don't know that I'm getting graham cracker crust, but girl, at the end of the day, the pumpkin scents also have to smell the same. So it's not that deep. I'm going to burn it. It's giving fall. Right, so this is another one that I know for sure is new. Well, it's new to me. This one is the Cozy Sunday Nights. And first of all, this wraparound marble brown, like I obviously have a thing for brown, but especially in the fall, that's like one of my go-to colors, various shades of brown. So I had to pick this up, but this actually smells really good because I did smell this in store. So this one has notes of warm cinnamon, crystallized ginger, and vanilla bean. And yeah, this is very much giving another fall to winter transitional type of scent. Like I'll probably burn this as it gets colder because this is definitely giving like it's cold outside and you walk into your warm, cozy house and someone's like baking. Like this is giving me the welcome home candle vibes, but with a crisp kind of wintry vibe added to it, if that makes sense, which is probably the ginger. Yeah, the crystallized ginger, it's, it almost smells like snowflakes or something. Like, I don't know, but this smells really good. It's definitely giving just that cozy vibe. What's this collection called? I don't know what this collection is called yet, but this is, this is one of the ones in this collection that I liked. I smelled a bunch of them and like, like the book loft and there was a couple other ones. I was just like, eh, this is not giving for me, but I really like this one. So I will report back and let you guys know how this one performs. Another one that I know for sure I love, at least in the wallflowers, I can't remember if I've had this in a candle, but I for sure love the wallflowers and I try to get some every single year of this scent, but this is warm apple pie. I think they made this one an online exclusive again this year as well. I don't know why, because this usually is really really good so this one has baked granny smith apple melted brown sugar and flaky homemade crust so if i had to pick like my top two apple scents in a candle from bath and body works it would definitely be warm apple pie and honey crisp apple because mm, yeah this literally smells like a warm apple pie you get the buttery flaky pie crust you get the juicy just crystallized like cinnamon sugared apples and it just smells good it smells good, girl. So yeah, warm apple pie, she definitely is still hitting for me. Last candle, girl, before we get into this massive pile of body care. This is a day at the cafe. This is the one coffee fragrance that I picked up. I usually always love to have coffee scent, like coffee scented candles, but I don't know, something about them has been a little bit too much for me lately. So I just decided to get one coffee scent this year, but this one has rich cold brew coffee, frothed milk, sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. I'm pretty sure this one is new because I don't remember seeing this one, but mm. yeah, this pretty much smells like any sweet 
Starbucks drink. Like that's literally what it smells like. That's all I can say. There's nothing additional to it. It smells like a Starbucks during the fall and the winter. That's what it smells like. So not mad at this one. Really, really like her. And I will probably be burning this one soon. Okay, y'all. So that is it for the candle portion of this. Now let's get into the body care because I have quite a few things here. So let's go ahead and get started. Bath and Body Works um, did recently have a like four or five dollar moisturizer sale. I can't remember, but I also did have a coupon and some gift cards on top of that. So basically most of these items were free to me because I was just waiting on a really good sale to use most of, most of this stuff. So I went ahead and went a little crazy on the body butters and things like that. But Vanilla Romance, let's talk about it, okay? Because well, I'm gonna show y'all how much I love this scent before I tell y'all what it smells like. But I got two fragrance mists, okay? Which one of these probably has a significant dent in it already. I also got two of the perfume pins, which one of these is literally about to be empty. It's in my purse as we speak. This one was a free reward, so I was like, why not? Let me get a second one. <laughs> two, no, I got three. I got three Body Butters Girl. Like, they were on sale, I told y'all. So I was like, I love this scent so much that I can justify having three of these. Let me just tell y'all what she smells like. So first of all, get into the packaging. She's very cute, very, very cute. This one has notes of fresh cardamom, vanilla absolute, and captivating woods, which literally three notes that I love. I'm I'm learning. I feel like I've learned in the past couple of years, like I really do enjoy cardamom and fragrances usually. And then of course, any type of woody vanilla, I've always been a fan of. But this one to me, y'all, is such a sexy, this is a sexy scent for Bath and Body Works, okay? Like this is not giving gourmand, super sweet bakery vanilla that we're used to. This is sexy. And you know what this smells like to me? I see, I know a lot of the girls have said, or this is compared to on Fragrantica, this is compared to like, um, I wanna say Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues and also Out There by Parfums de Marley, which it is kind of giving me that a tone scale down. But to me, this smells like that Donna Karen cashmere and Palo Santo. It is just sexy, smooth, like, this also to me is definitely giving unisex. Like this is a fragrance that I could absolutely like smelling on a man as well, but this is just a sexy, captivating, smooth vanilla girl. Like I'm getting all of the notes that are in here. I'm definitely getting that sexy woody note. I'm getting the spicy cardamom and I'm getting just a very elevated vanilla. And I just love this y'all. So as you can see, I stocked up. I got a few things. I've been going to town with the scent and I also really, really like the consistency of the body butter. It is, you know, on the darker side, like all of them are this color. So y'all just be prepared for that. This is not something that you're going to want to wear if you're wearing like white, but I do really like the consistency of this and I love the scent. I honestly think the body butter is a little bit sweeter than the actual fragrance mist, but either way, girl, I liked her and my store literally only had three of these left. So I had to stock up because not only is this a scent that I love, but it's not the Glotion. And y'all know how I feel about the Bath and Body Works Glotions. I'm not a fan of all that glitter, girl. So I love that this is just straight up body butter. And this is a scent I can layer with a ton of stuff. Um, one of these things I picked up over the summer. And then I can't remember if I... I'm pretty sure I hauled the perfume of this in my summer SAS haul. And I told you I was going to go back and get the body mist. So I got the body mist, but this body butter I actually picked up recently during the moisturizer sale. So this is Gingham Glow. This is again, just a regular, regular old body butter girl, like no lotion over here. So I had to go ahead and grab this because this smells so freaking good y'all. I don't, what are the notes in here? Golden nectar, marigold petals and sun soaked sandalwood. And honestly, even though this is kind of low key, a summery scent, I feel like the sandalwood in here is making this perfect for like a summer to fall situation. Like even though we're technically already in fall, this is like great for those days where it's still a little warm out or like you're going out for like a fall, you know, date night situation. Like this will be good to just spritz on to add some warmth into your fragrances. This literally just smells so good, y'all. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, this is a scent that smells like summer without coconut. It just smells warm, inviting. The sandalwood is very smooth and just perfumey. This is a very perfumey, again, scent for Bath & Body Works. So 
really really love this one i want to say this is probably my favorite gingham of all of them this is a new scent to me this is the sensitive skin which i do have sensitive skin i tell y'all that all the time i usually don't do a lot of fragranced and scented body lotions because of that reason alone this is the sensitive skin milk body butter with the colloidal oatmeal and they also have this in a body mist so if you are a lactonic lover like me i was super excited to see this and i have worn it a couple of times i think this is the one i've already used or it might be this one no I think it's this one. Sorry, y'all. Fragrance with notes of sugared oats and whipped milk for a creamy, cozy scent. I've been seeing kind of mixed reviews on this. And I don't know, y'all. My mood, my, my feelings toward this kind of change depending on the mood that I'm in because one day I wore this and I really, really liked it. But I think it was because of the combo that I did with it. Like this with a woody scent or just something that is a little bit thicker smells really really good or even a fruity scent but this by itself i don't love and i think it's just because it's definitely giving me straight up milk and i like that when it's with something else so definitely going to be using these to layer um and same with the body butter this is probably something i would probably wear to bed because i do find this scent kind of cozy and comforting and it's for sensitive skin. So I can easily layer this with a bunch of other things. I don't love it as much as I thought I would. This is definitely something I'm going to have to pair with other things. But luckily, I already have some fragrance combos for y'all. So stay tuned for that video. Now this we need to talk about because I remember doing a video. This is maybe two, three, maybe even four years ago at this point where I was saying I really wish that they would bring back the Coco Shea Honey because I had so many fond memories attached to that scent and it smelled so good to me. So girl, when I saw that they not only made the fragrance mist, okay? They made the fragrance mist, but they brought back the oil and the freaking body butter. Y'all, I had to stock up, okay? So... I got two fragrance mists, which is a lot for me considering what I just told y'all because I'm not trying to move with a whole bunch of crap, okay, and a whole bunch of backups. We also got a couple of the body oils as well, and we got four body butters, okay? We got four body butters. Listen, this was my signature scent when this first came out. Like, I don't know what it is about honey scented things, but like, especially kind of that sweetened honey, not that very like musky natural honey, but that sweetened honey it just smells so good it's not trying too hard it literally just smells like honeyed syrup and you just put it on it just it almost is giving like a sweetened second skin type of vibe so oh this smells so good y'all and it also kind of low-key smells a little clean like i don't know this is just the perfect balance between clean and like sweet for me and again, this was my signature scent at one point. So I just love this. It's just not doing too much. It layers very well with everything. And I'm super happy to have this back in my collection. So I had to get a few. Oh, let me see if it has notes. Fragrance with notes of sweet shea and golden honey for a warm addictive scent. So yeah, I think that's why I like it, y'all. Because I'm also a really huge fan of like shea butter scented things. So mm. Oh, this smells so good, y'all. This smells so good. Like, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So, yeah. The last thing from the Coco Shea collection, y'all, I had to go ahead and pick up the Coco Shea, um, just the regular Coco Shea one, I guess, just the coconut one, because this was a close second for me after the honey. So, I did go ahead and get a couple of the body oils. I want to say the coconut mist they came out with in the summer is supposed to be comparable to, to this, but I wish they would have came out with, like, a mist that goes specifically with this collection, how they did with the honey and the milk. You know what I mean? I can't really smell the oil. So let me just smell the body butter girl because I got a few of those as well. I don't think I need eight body butters, y'all, between this and the Coco Shea honey alone. So I may give a couple of these away to like my mom or something like that. But I went ahead and got some body butters as well because it's just rare that you see the body oils and the body butters go on sale. So I was very happy to see that. But yeah, this was another formula that I really, really enjoyed. And it literally smells like coconuts and shea butter, which are two things that I really, really like. So very happy to have both of these and they will for sure be getting used up. So we're gonna first talk about this collection because 
I have had these since they brought them out towards the end of the summer. Strawberry pound cake, I mean, literally no stranger to the channel. I actually already have one from SAS, but it's running a little low. So I was like, let me go ahead and pick one up. But girl, I mean, strawberry pound cake, she's strawberry pound cake. Literally, I say this all the time. It's the most realistic strawberry pound cake scent that there is, in my opinion. You get the glazed sugary sweet strawberries, you get the whipped cream, and you get that bakery buttery pound cake crust. And I just love it. I just love this. It'll never get old to me. This is a bomb layering fragrance. And I don't know. She's heavily complimented for a reason, girl. This is the blueberry bun cake. And I don't know why. I like assumed that this was blueberry maple pancakes, but I just realized that it is not blueberry maple pancakes. So I'm interested to see how different the two smell. But this one has notes of harvest blueberries, honey drizzle, and fluffy cake. Well, even though I love blueberry scents, I don't know that a blueberry scent is something that I'm wanting to smell like. So very curious to see what this is giving. So this is definitely reminding me of that blueberry candle that I just did, the mixed berry crumble. It's definitely not blueberry maple pancakes from a few years ago or last year or whatever. It just smells like, again, that ooey gooey baked oozing blueberries but I do get a sweet cake in here note a sweet cake note in here as, as well so this is almost kind of giving me like if strawberry pound cake was a blueberry scent so I'm not mad at this I still don't know if I want to actually wear a blueberry scent the same way that I would wear strawberry because strawberry is just in my opinion more agreeable <laughs> with a lot of other scents but I don't know I may actually keep this one and play around with it and do some layering combos to see what would actually make me want to wear this but i do really like the scent another one that is quote unquote new is the pumpkin swirl cake so this one has notes of pumpkin spice caramel toffee creamy vanilla let's see girl because i love vanilla i love toffee and i usually like pumpkin spice so we'll see oh wow this is good this is really good y'all for a second this almost kind of smelled like sweet cinnamon pumpkin, but I definitely am getting the vanilla and the toffee and it's helping to balance out that pumpkin spice smell. This also kind of smells like the new tree hut, the pumpkin pop, um, just like not as heavy on the pumpkin, but I like this one. I do really like this one. I like that the pumpkin is not so in your face and it's definitely playing up on the toffee and the vanilla. So Definitely happy to have this one. It's almost giving me kind of like a butterscotch candy type of smell. So yeah, this one's cute. Definitely going to keep her. Uh, continuing on with the fall scent, of course, I picked up my bae, my girl, Sweet Whiskey. Y'all, at this point, I've just relapsed from that last massive declutter I did before I moved, but it's okay because I do plan on using all of these. This one has notes of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. Again, I just absolutely love this one. Oh, and honestly, y'all, the fragrance mist is absolutely smelling very, very similar to Commodities Milk. Yeah, it's so crazy how those are two completely different scents. But like I said, this smells like if milk had berries added to it. It's just a very powdery, luxe, rich smelling scent. And I just really, really love this one, y'all. So yeah, this is another one that absolutely smells like a perfume. Next one is Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. This one is not new either. This one has returned from whatever year it originally came out, girl. But this one has notes of warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. I'm pretty sure I've already worn this one this season. This is one of the ones I was ready to break out as soon as I bought it. And yeah, this definitely smells nice. I would say it's a little lighter than it was last year or whatever year it came out, but... I do still really, really like this one. And I like to layer this one with Philosophy's Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere because they kind of have that same sweet, woody, cozy vanilla vibe. But I like this one and I think she is perfect for the fall. And of course, most of you guys, or if you don't know, um, the Together Weather, this one is pretty much a dupe of the Chirosa 40, the um, Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 40, like the Dama Bianca, Vanilla Woods, like all of that you know, vibe in the same family, but this one has notes of blushing breeze, sugared cardamom, and soft cedar. And yeah, 
This literally smells like Sol de Janeiro Charosa 40. I would say that this one might be slightly more woody um, and not as fruity, but I mean, they pretty much smell exactly the same. So if you like those fruity, woody type of sexy scents, this is definitely one you might want to um, check out. If you don't like Sol de Janeiro's Charosa 40, don't get this because you're not going to like this. They're basically the same. In that collection, we have the Sunrise Woods that return. So this one has notes of creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. Honestly, y'all, I kind of forgot what Sunrise Woods smells like because I haven't had it in a while. So let's see. Oh. Yes, this smells like Versace Crystal Noir. Like, this smells like there's coconut in here, but I guess it's the sandalwood. But yeah, this is super sexy. This is giving fall night, fall date, night out. Um, this is super, super sexy. I, I remember it now. I remember it now that I've smelled it. Yeah, this is definitely another one that's giving fall perfumey type of vibes. So girls, listen, y'all do not have to break the bank. If you don't want to go out and splurge in a bunch of perfumes, girl, a lot of these Bath & Body Works miss. They are giving perfume scent wise. You will probably have to go in and reapply multiple times a day. But at the end of the day, you're paying a fraction of the cost of the perfume. So yeah. Collection of returning scents. This is another one that I absolutely loved when I first got it. This is Autumn Drive. This one has notes of wild raspberry, warm amber, and vanilla birch. Smells just as good as I remember it, girl. Just a sweet powdery raspberry scent with the sexy like woody undertone. That vanilla birch is really doing something for me. So yeah, it's grounding this scent from being just a basic candied raspberry scent, but I feel like the two play very well together. And I'm very excited to do some layering combos with this one this year. So we have the marshmallow pumpkin latte, another returning scent, and the sweet cinnamon pumpkin we have. Lastly, champagne, apple, and honey. So I haven't had all three of these in a while, especially the champagne, apple, and honey, because from what I last remember, I just was kind of like, I think at the time I was just over apple scents, but I did kind of miss having this one. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, this is a very likable, juicy apple scent. For my girlies who love Kayali's Eat and Juicy Apple, I mean, this is your girl. You literally can obviously layer it with that or layer it with something else. But I just think an apple scent is bomb for the fall, both home scent and, you know, body care scent. Like, I just think it's a very, very good transitioning from summer to fall and even fall into winter type of scent note because it's the perfect like fruity juicy scent that can go either way you know what i mean so yeah not mad at this one champagne apple and honey also reminds me a lot of the honey crisp apple candle just not as in your face but still that juicy mouth-watering sweetness so and i for sure have not had in a while um a marshmallow pumpkin latte because when, par when Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte like first, first came out, girl, like years ago, she was very, very good. Gourmand and rich and like the pumpkin wasn't like so in your face. But over the years, weird things started happening with this one. So I'm curious to see how she smells this year. But she has notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood and praline musk. So let's see. Let's hope she actually smells good this year because I have no problem taking her back. Hmm. Okay. So surprisingly, I like it this year. I'm definitely getting more marshmallow and praline and not as heavy on the pumpkin. So I definitely think if I like overspray this and layer it with some other things, I'm really going to like this one. Because normally with marshmallow pumpkin latte, I instantly smell it and I'm just like, something's off here. Something's not right. But I personally do think it smells pretty good this year. So if you are a fan of this scent and you have not picked this one up, I definitely think it is safe to purchase this year because in the past few years, it's just smelled very, very weird. Lastly, from this collection is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which honestly, y'all, I feel like I'm going to return this one because, again, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin has been very hit or miss for me. Like, even with candles, it's just like, after a while, it's one of those pumpkin scents that starts to get on your nerves from how pumpkiny it is and just cinnamon spices. So I don't know if this is even something I want to smell like, but I just wanted to try all of them, see which ones I was going to like and keep. So this one has notes of heirloom pumpkin, autumn cinnamon, ginger snap, and whipped vanilla. I don't remember it having ginger snap and vanilla in it, girl. So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, y'all. I, I don't know. I do smell the ginger snap. I'm not saying I'm getting any vanilla. I really just smell ginger snap and pumpkin. 
So yeah, this one's okay, but I'm probably taking her back because it's really not doing much for me. Um, and yeah, I've never really loved this one in the past. It's always been hit or miss. And unfortunately for me, it's just kind of falling short and I'm probably going to return it. Okay, the last two like fallish type scents are the two Halloween scents. I did not get the candy apple cauldron one because I just knew personally for me, I was not going to wear that one. But Wicked Vanilla Woods is one that I already know that I love and I was actually missing this in my collection. And Ghoul Friend, I think I had this last year in like the shimmering hand sanitizer or something and I really wanted it in a full size so I went ahead and picked this one up so ghoul friend has notes of dark strawberries ghostly peony and spine chilling citrus and yeah from what I can remember I really like this one last year so yeah strangely enough ghoul friend reminds me a little bit of autumn drive like they have that same kind of powdery fruit note with like this very sexy floral in the background so yeah, this is very fun and sweet and bubbly at the same time. And I really, really, really like this one. This is just something that I know I like. So hopefully they did not change the formula. But Wicked Vanilla Woods has notes of magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. And this is just a very sexy black cat, all leather, all black, just this is that girl to me okay now this is not blind by safe for my girlies who just love the super sweet vanillas but this is definitely sexy for my girls who like that vanilla with some edge some the vanilla with just a little mm, something that smells very perfume like that is this and I just love it. So I'm very happy to have her back in the collection. The rest of these collections are not fall. So if you are only here for the fall content, girl, you can go ahead and leave. Okay. But the rest of this stuff is stuff that I either picked up over the summer. You know, Bath and Body Works had like this random end of summer sale after SAS. And then of course I have the, I forgot the name of this collection, but it's the collection that has all of the dupes. I skipped a couple, but I picked up the ones that I was interested in and then a bunch of random things. So let's just go ahead and fly through these because at this point, I already know this video is gonna be like an hour long. So earlier you guys saw that I did pick up the Gingham Glow, but I went ahead and picked up Gingham Gorgeous as well as Gingham Fresh. Not Gingham Fresh specifically to go in my gym bag, but I'm a little sad y'all because why did they not keep Gingham Vibrant? Like out of all of the three Ginghams in this collection, Gingham Vibrant was my favorite because it was like a really beautiful powdered like sweet berry scent and I really like that so I feel like they should have kept it but anyways Gingham Fresh has notes of juicy pear sparkling clementine and fresh daisies and this is definitely giving springtime I already know like this is not fall whatsoever but I bought this specifically to go on my gym bag because it just smells like a very refreshing juicy pear scent like that is what it smells like it just smells fresh and clean and sweet. And for me, that is the perfect gem scent profile. I'm typically not wearing my very strong, expensive perfumes. When I go to the gym, I typically reach for things like this that I can just go in with a bunch of sprays before I go in and when I leave. So I'm not leaving out of there smelling funky, but yeah, this is just easy, likable. It kind of has that pear like body wash or pear like shampoo type of smell and it just smells clean and then gingham gorgeous i have this last year i'm pretty sure i emptied this but this one has notes of pink strawberries peach nectar and peony blooms and this one is just very girly and cutesy again this one is giving spring so i don't know how much i'm going to reach for this one that much but it just smells very sweet and like a pretty girl like that's what this smells like to me. You get the strawberry, you get the juicy sweet peach with those very pretty florals in the background. So I think this one is very, very cute for my girly girls. And this is probably another one that if I go through Gingham Fresh, I can probably put this one in my gym bag as well. It's very likable, very easy, very work appropriate. You know what I mean? So yeah. Since we are talking about girly girl, easy, chill, whatever, I did pick up like a few random things of like online exclusives and things like that are things that I've just been missing since I pretty much started my Bath and Body Works collection from scratch when I moved to New York. So the first one being in the stars, girl. Like we know her, we love her. When this first came out, the girlies were going crazy because everyone knew this was a Baccarat Rouge dupe. And I don't know, I've just missed having it in my collection because I think 
this is the time of year that I start missing this DNA, like Baccarat and things like that. I have a really, really good Middle Eastern fragrance dupe for Baccarat Rouge Extrait. And I don't really reach for it until it starts getting colder because I just feel like that scent just smells amazing in the cool, crisp weather. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up In The Stars Girl because I missed having this and she just smells so good. And they redid the packaging for it. And I just think it's so pretty and cute. So if you did not know, The Stars has notes of star flower, sandalwood musk, sugar tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. And yes, she is very much a Baccarat Rouge dupe, but done in a much sweeter, more palatable way for those of you who feel like Baccarat is a little too masculine leaning or a little too unisex. I think the addition of that sweet sugary tangelo note in here just makes this smell more feminine and sweet and girly. And this is just a highly complimented Bath and Body Works Miss Girl. So if you don't have this and you like the DNA I just described, you should definitely pick her up. The same family of Bath and Body Works classics that I was missing in my collection um, I think I picked this up at the end of SAS, y'all, but I realized I was missing Dahlia in my collection too, and I saw that it was online at some point. So this one has notes of Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. This is another just sexy fall floral to me, and I just love a good, well-done pear fragrance. The pear and the praline in this is just sexy. Again, another fragrance that is a dupe of something else if you are a fan of Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Personally, don't think it's like an exact perfect dupe. I do feel like this one leans slightly more fresh and not as syrupy sweet as Good Girl, but it's just more wearable because if you've ever had or tried Good Girl, it can be very strong and just very like thick and choke you out potentially. So this is a very wearable version of that. If you like that scent DNA, a lot of men love the way that smells, girl. So if you want an easier way to wear good girl and not choke you or anybody else out, this is just such a sweet sugary pear, praline, the tonka bean, like this is just a sexy scent. So I absolutely had to have her back in the collection. Next one that I picked up over the summer or whenever this came out, this is the Brightest Blooms. It has notes of Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sombach, Sombach, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. I can't remember what the girls were saying this is a dupe of. I want to say it's Marc Jacobs' Daisy. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And I really can't confirm because I completely forgot what Daisy smells like because I think the one time I tried it, I wasn't like super impressed with it to buy it. But yeah, to me, it just smells like a super generic, sweet, fruity floral. Like I know that sounds bad, but sometimes these are scents that you just want to reach for, especially when I go to the gym. So yeah, is there anything spectacular knocking my socks off? I don't think so. But I think having a few of these in the collection is always good when you just want to throw on something that you know is not going to offend anybody. Like this is also giving me something good to wear to an interview, wear to the office, wear around, you know, family or just something inoffensive and sweet and agreeable. So yeah, definitely a very generic floral scent, but sometimes that's okay. And I like this one. So yeah, that is Bright as Bloom. We getting through it. We getting through it. Oh my God. This is like my biggest Bath and Body Works haul today, honestly. But this next one is called Dressed in White. This is another one that is actually new to me. This one has notes of pear blossoms. Again with the pear girl. Again with the pear. Ivory gardenia and satin woods. This one I don't remember smelling. So let's see girl. Because I think I got this offline. Okay, why does this smell familiar, girl? What is this a dupe of? Y'all tell me in the comments because I don't know. I didn't look that up at the time for this one, but this is another very pretty white floral. Like this almost to me, what's in here? Pear blossoms, gardenia, satin woods. Definitely getting kind of a sexy white floral mixed with a fruity note. And I like this, surprisingly. Like, this smells really, really good, y'all. I was not expecting this to smell how it smelled. I don't know what I was expecting, but I really, really like this. And I thought this was going to be kind of like a springtime scent. But now that I'm smelling this, this is definitely going to be a great fall winter floral. And I think it's because of the satin woods that's in here. It's adding some depth to this scent. So, yeah, I'm very surprised because I'm typically not a super huge floral girl. But these florals that Bath and Body Works dropped are definitely doing something. Okay, and the last one, you guys, I think is also another floral scent, but this is one that was new to me. 
And I've never actually seen Bridgerton. Um, I know like all of the girlies love that show. And my best friend told me to watch it at one point. And I think I started it and I just got distracted. So girl, I have not actually seen the show, but I did pick this up from the collection. So this is the diamond of the season. This has notes of sparkling peach, spring daffodil and radiant jasmine. So let's see what she's giving. Oh, sprayed that a little too close, girl. Oh, this smells like a peach candy to me. Okay, and it does smell like, it smells like a, a peach candy dropped in like a glass of like champagne or something. Yeah, this smells really good. Okay, y'all, this is for my girls from Georgia or from the South in general, because I think this is just like a Southern candy, but... Y'all know those hard peach candies that they sell in like the white bags with like the dusting of like, and you like suck on them and they're really, really hard. Like that is what this smells like to me. This is super, super candy sweet. Like I'm almost not really smelling anything floral in here. This is really just smelling like peach candy or peach rings to me. So if you guys have that, or if you have this scent and you feel the same way, like let me know. But this smells really, really good. I was not expecting this to smell how I did. Yeah, super, super cute. And this is going to be bomb for like holiday parties, New Year's and stuff like that. So yes, yeah, so glad that I picked this one up. Last but not least, I have the Everyday Luxuries collection. That's what I was trying to say. It just clicked in my head. I think I skipped out on maybe two or three of the ones that I was just like, eh, I'm not going to like that. I don't know right off the bat what everything is a dupe of. I kind of have a general idea or like a couple of them. I know for sure what the dupes are supposed to be, but most of these I'm smelling for the first time, girl. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and see what they got. Now this one right off the bat, girl, I got two. So let's hope that I love this because I just saw it said Viva Vanilla and I'm just like, Oh, and you know what it was too? I did see that this one is supposed to be a dupe for Vanilla 28 by Kayali. So I was like, oh girl, let me get that. Like, let me just get two. So this one has notes of rich plum, glowing amber, and addictive vanilla. Let's see how she smells. Hopefully I like it because I bought two. Hmm. Okay, y'all, is it just me or just this kind of smell like vanilla romance? This is not giving me Kayali Vanilla 28. I do like how this smells, but it smells very similar to Vanilla Romance to me. Maybe a hair richer and thicker, but for the most part, this smells like Vanilla Romance. So yeah, am I mad at that? No, um, I probably would not have bought two had I known I was going to have two things that are the same. But yeah, if you like Vanilla Romance, if you like Out There by Parfum from Mr. Marley, if you like um the donna cashmere the donna the the donna karen palo girl what the donna karen palo santo and cashmere y'all know what i'm saying i don't know why i can't get that name correct um i hauled that perfume sometime over the summer and i just was loving it so that smells this smells very similar to that to me so i obviously like the scent profile but i'm very surprised at how similar it smells to those things so yeah just that sensual woody vanilla with just the, the the addition of that plum to add like some roundness to it so it's not just straight up woody vanilla but i don't know i'm a little surprised that it doesn't smell like vanilla 28 but i'm not mad at the smell either so yeah all right the next one is the pink obsessed and i believe this one is a dupe for valentino donna born in roma so let's see this one has notes of blushing jasmine but what <laughs> blushing jasmine cashmere praline and vanilla bourbon so yeah i'm pretty sure that's what it's a dupe of because valentino donna born in roma is jasmine and vanilla bourbon so let's see oh wow that is very similar that is very similar y'all like this literally smells like valentino donna born in roma but maybe like without that kind of peppery slightly spicy opening this just takes that out and you just are left with the sweet jasmine and vanilla bourbon and this smells very good yeah if you are looking for a good dupe for that fragrance which is said to be one of the most highly complimented fragrances in 
many women's collections, mine included. Yeah, this is very, very close. Like I'm very, very, I'm very surprised, girl. So Pink Obsessed, she is a win for me and she definitely smells like the scent that she's supposed to be a day. This one, I don't know what this is a dupe of, girl. So let's see if we can figure it out together. But this is the Floral Fantasy. This one has notes of peach, osmanthus, jasmine, and warm patchouli, which patchouli can go one of two ways for me, girl. So let's see. Hmm. I like this, but what is this a dupe of, y'all? What is this a dupe of? Y'all just let me know in the comments, okay? Because I don't know what this is a dupe of, but it smells good. It smells very sexy. The patchouli in here is more of a sweetened, sugary patchouli, not that like earthy, kind of funky patchouli. And then I definitely get the jasmine in here and the, it's like a very rich, almost like a bourbon soaked peach. But yeah, this smells really good. This definitely has a very luxe, perfumey quality about it. This smells like a night out. This smells like whatever perfume this is a dupe of is a date night scent. And I can't tell you what it is right now. I'll probably, y'all just let me know in the comments because I'm not about to look it up while we're talking. But yeah, I really like this. This is sexy. She's very, very sexy. So yeah, that is floral fantasy. Now this one, y'all, I actually wore for the first time yesterday. Went to the gym. And spoiler alert, I already love this. I already know what this is a dupe of. So if you are a fan of musk scent, I definitely think this is one you should pick up. But this is If You Musk. And I low-key wish I got two of this one instead of the vanilla. So I may swap the vanilla, one of the vanilla ones out to get this one. But this one has notes of iris, pink pepper, and airy musk. And this is basically a dupe for Glossier's You and all of those like second, second skin skin scents like skin by clean reserve which i recently had to declutter if you are curious as to why definitely check out my last declutter video i will link it up top but yeah this is just a sweet sexy second skin clean scent and if you are a fan of musk because not everyone is this is definitely one you should pick up because i love this i literally want to like bathe myself in this to go to the gym because it just smells like sweet pheromones or something like i don't know it's something about it that just smells very warm and sexy and i can't wait to just layer this with everything because musk is one of those notes you can literally layer with pretty much everything so the if you musk is a win for me this one right here is called covered in roses and i think i have a pretty good idea of what this is a dupe of it has notes of ruby berries sugared rose buds and blush amber so let's see is giving like Delina. Yeah, it's in that juicy lychee rose. Set. Like this is giving me Delina girl. But she's cute. She's cute. She's very cute. This is nothing new. If you smell Delina or any Delina dupes girl, that is what this smells like. Am I mad at having this? No, because I have a Delina dupe in my collection right now. So uh, perfumes that is. So yeah, I like this one. It's definitely very pretty, very it girl. Another very popular fragrance DNA that is highly complimented. And I think they did a great job with this one as well. This one right here, Petal Parade. I don't know what this one is a dupe of either. So let's see, this one has notes of Neroli Petals, Orange Flower, and White Woods. I will say y'all, as someone who never used to buy the quote unquote floral scents from Bath & Body Works, they did their big one. Like in the last year with these floral scents they've been dropping, they have been really good. Okay. This smells, another one that smells very familiar, but I don't know what the dupe is. So y'all let me know in the comments below because I don't know. But yeah, this is for my orange blossom lovers. This, sound, this smells so familiar, girl. This literally smells like something I have. What are the notes? Neroli, orange flowers, and woods. This is low key smelling like, no, 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 that's not what it is. This just has that very typical orange blossom neroli perfumey scent to me that I smell in a lot of fragrances these days. So this can be a dupe of many things, but it for sure smells like something that I have. This is giving me almost kind of like summertime vibes from that neroli that's in here. This is like one of those summery spring night out florals. 
But yeah, this is another sexy one. I like this one. I will most likely keep this as well because this really smells like something I have in my collection. So after I film this, I'm gonna look it up. But yeah, I really, really like this one. Last one, last one that I'm very excited about because Oh Cherry, I mean, just the name of it alone is most likely gonna be a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, the most duped cherry fragrance out there that pretty much started the trend of all of these cherry scents, honestly. So this one has notes of black cherry, sheer magnolia, and tonka bean. So let's see, girl. I know not a lot of people love Lost Cherry. Um, I'm definitely a Lost Cherry fan, but I know some people find it to be a little bit too much. So let's see. Yeah, this is good. This is good. It's definitely not as boozy and rich and thick as Tom Ford Lost Cherry, obviously, because that is a $400 perfume. And Tom Ford scents are usually extremely beast mode. But if you don't like it for that reason, this is definitely a good alternative. Because this is definitely a very sweet, sexy, likable cherry that is not so in your face, but still smells very decadent and rich in my opinion. Yeah, this smells really, really good, y'all. I literally, I smell the tonka bean. I smell the cherry. I don't really smell too much magnolia. I'm not mad at that because I personally don't feel like that belongs in here, but you know, whatever. She smells good, she's cute, and I'm very happy with this purchase. Hey girl, that is it for this ginormous, massive, huge fall Bath & Body Works haul with a little bit of random things mixed in towards the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know if there are some faves of yours in this video, let me know in the comments below. And also do not forget to subscribe if you like what you saw in today's video. You probably will not see another Bath & Body Works haul from me until we start getting the holiday stuff. So just be on the lookout for that. But I love you guys so much. Appreciate your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.